New details on a series of bizarre attacks, dozens of unexplained illnesses, including head injuries, forced the U.S. to bring home diplomatic staff from China and the embassy, the U.S. Embassy in Cuba. Speculation at the time was that it was some sort of sonic attack. But now the scientist who led the investigation tells the New York Times the main culprit is likely some kind of microwave weapon. CNN's Patrick Oppmann is following the story from Havana. So, Patrick, what happened at the U.S. Embassy that led authorities to suspect that it was indeed an attack? And now we're talking about these, you know, a microwave weapon. It's still very much a diplomatic mystery, but let me walk you through what is a, a very complicated case. It all began November 2016, right after the U.S. presidential election, and that is when U.S. diplomats based here in Havana said they begin to experience these really strange symptoms, often at night, sometimes while they're in bed, asleep in their homes or their hotel rooms here in Cuba, and they said that they would feel nausea, loud, hear loud sounds, uh, hearing loss, but if they got up out of bed, if they left the room where they went, it would stop if they walked back into where uh, they had felt uh, this incident, this attack as they described it, it would start again. So they felt that they were being targeted with some sort of mysterious beam of energy. Initially, they complained to Cuban authorities about what they felt they were being targeted with sonic weapons. And these are weapons that do exist, usually used for crowd control. But experts said, experts consulted by CNN at the time, said that sonic weapons really don't work like that. They don't usually uh, cause someone to hear a noise, and they're much too large to be used in this capacity. Now we have uh, scientists that have met and helped uh, treat some of those diplomats coming out and saying that perhaps it's a microwave weapon. This is also a weapon, but much more portable that shoots a beam of energy and it can be pinpointed in the way these diplomats describe both here in Cuba and in China, and that it can actually cause people to think they're hearing sounds, but uh, this is just uh, a symptom of this beam of energy that's being uh, hit, uh, directed at uh, people, uh, and it can cause these kinds of symptoms. One of the researchers told CNN it causes a concussion without actually uh, causing a concussion, the immaculate concussion, they said. So uh, again, uh, we don't know very little bit about these weapons because so few countries use them. Uh, Cuban authorities say there's no evidence of that the diplomats were ever targeted here. They have called on the U.S. to release more information about this. So right now, it may be one piece of still a very big puzzle, Fred. It, it is mysterious, but, you know, the, there are a couple things from that reporting, that there is some place of blame or at least um, looking seriously at Russia. And then the other is it's not just... Uh, a very disturbing high-pitched noise, but there might even be voices or a message, a continual message that people have been victimized by, you know, this sound um, that, um, you know, there's this kind of messaging coming from it. What more do we know about that? Or, or who is adding there, any credence there, to that? There are a number of... Uh it's really fascinating stuff. Uh, yeah. There are a number of countries, including the former Soviet Union and now Russia, that have uh, microwave weapon programs going back decades. There's some evidence that they've been used uh, in other countries uh, against uh, U.S. diplomats, that this was a very active program the USSR had. Uh, again, still no evidence that they were used here, hard evidence they're used in Cuba, but it seems to fit uh, the scenario. Now, the Cuban officials here said we would never allow this to be used, but of course, in a country like Cuba, it's impossible to imagine that a third actor could come in and use these weapons without the Cuban officials knowing. Uh, they have allowed mm -hmm. the FBI to come in. They have allowed Canadian investigators, because there's some Canadian diplomats that have complained of similar symptoms, uh, and they've turned up nothing. But in a way, you read about these weapons uh, and these weapons programs that did exist, and it's kind of the perfect weapon because it leaves no trace.